Sri Lanka, will adopt an India-first approach as its new foreign policy plank and protect New Delhi's strategic security interests. The country's foreign secretary, Jayalith Kalumbage, has said as he sought to allay concerns amid China's growing presence in the island nation. Kalumbage said that President Gotabaya Rajapaksa would have an India-first approach as the key to strategic security. That means, Sri Lanka will not do anything harmful to India's strategic security interests. He said, we are between two economic giants. China is the second largest economy, and India is considered the sixth largest. In 2018 India was the world's fastest growing economy. And, Sri Lanka cannot afford, should not afford, and will not afford, any particular country to use it, as a staging area to do anything against another country, especially so India. Commenting on the Chinese investment, in the southern port of Humbantota, Columbage says that, Sri Lanka had offered India Humbantota first. But, India did not undertake it for whatever reason, then it went to a Chinese company. Now, we have given 85% stake of Humbantota port, to China Merchant Holding Company. That should be limited to commercial activities only. It is zero for military purposes, he said. Columbage said that, despite opposition from port worker trade unions, President Rajapaksa would go ahead with the Memorandum of Cooperation, signed with India, on the Colombo port's eastern terminal. Colombo port is the largest and busiest port in Sri Lanka. Located on the southwestern shores, on the Kelani River, it serves as an important terminal in Asia, due to its strategic location in the Indian Ocean. The previous, Sarisana government had signed a Memorandum of Cooperation with India and Japan for a tri-party effort to develop the terminal. The president has said that he is ready to honor the agreement. As per the new guidance of the president, no national asset is given with total control to any country, he said. Columbage said that the Rajapaksa foreign policy shift would mean that Sri Lanka would not be any more reliant on a West-oriented policy. China has been making significant forays into Sri Lanka, especially in the defense field. Beijing's activities have caused regional concerns, especially in India. There are regional concerns, mostly from India, that China may make a military presence at Humbantota, located on a key, sea international shipping route.